Morning everyone, uh, back from Miami, back at it, uh, doing this Real Talk. And really what I want to sort of share with you today is, is one of the takeaways from the Mastermind session. So again, I think I shared with you, um, you know, how much better I felt after it, sort of hearing from, you know, people much bigger than us, uh, people that I respected, really sort of sharing our story of being employees, not entrepreneurs. And, you know, I sort of saw that as a, a downfall, really. I, I, I sort of... Um, I really thought there was just something out there that I needed to do. And really what the takeaway from that event was, you know, m most of that room ultimately wants buy and hold real estate, right? Whether it was the wholesalers who have been wholesaling and some of them having seven figure years, you know, wholesaling, you know, hundreds of properties and making, you know, seven figures or a million dollars via assignment fees or whether it was the flippers who were doing 50 flips a year and making equally as much. One of the takeaways, you know, from those, those discussions was is all of them wish they had a, you know, buy and hold or uh, were holding rental properties. Uh, and as you know, our story, it's, you know, that's all we did for 15 years was, was buy and hold. You know, we 1031 exchanged out of houses to apartments and, and built a, a, a nice little pile of rentals. And you know, again, I went there sort of thinking, you know, that's, that's not enough. You know, we gotta go, you know, we gotta go bigger, gotta have a company. And really what they told us, and really what they told me, because Olivia was, was always there, was, no, you idiot, <laughs> right? If you have a portfolio that has already, you know, made you financially free or gives you options, there's no need to have a job, right? You don't need to, you know, start wholesaling. You don't need to start doing 2,500 mailers a week Right. You don't you don't you don't just stop it. Right? If that's not your passion, if that's not what you like to do, don't do it. So I, I really, you know, as I shared yesterday or the day before, it's just sort of a takeaway that was was really imperative. So uh, really what I want to talk about this video is is buy and hold rental properties work. Right. If we're talking, to, you know, if you happen to be a busy professional, you know, you should be thinking about how do you get to four. Right. In the next two years, what can we do together to get you to four rental properties? Because I trust me, if you get to four rental properties in the next couple of years, you let time do its thing. Uh, a couple of things are going to happen, right? Values are going to go up, rents are going to go up, and you're going to be in a much better financial position. You know, the, you know whether it was the flip, you know the flippers doing 50 a year or the wholesalers doing 100, they want buy and hold real estate, right? They all admitted that they have jobs, and, and sure it could be lucrative jobs, but still jobs nonetheless. That if they stop doing it, it just all goes away. So. You know, buy and hold real estate works. That's the sort of takeaway from this this real talk video is buy and hold works. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, get rich slow, all right, or get rich for sure instead of get rich quick. So all of these kind of things, just know that buy and hold real estate works. Uh, and um, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we talk about in this channel is how to be full-time employees with busy careers, how not to suffer from crap, right, cash rich, asset poor. So we're going to get you all to four, at least four rental properties. And, um, you know, it's just going to be a good time and we're going to do it. You know, we'll do it at whatever speed you want to go. So in the end, have a great day and take care.